Beloved, this is one of the saddest days, you know, for me. Very sad today. Because how wicked can you be as a 23-year-old to unalive your friend and blackmail her family to extort money from them on the pretense or on the guise that you have kidnapped her? How wicked can you be? This is Sense No Degram Podcast. My name is MC Hamika. If this is your first time being here, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for popping by. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to, you know, you know how we do it. Yes, hit the notification bell. This one right there. Ding, ding. Yes, hit that. And don't miss because this is where all the energy is. This is where all the vibe is. All right. Now, today, what I'm talking about is something that has been making trend, something that has been making news online. Okay, especially on the X app where everything is happening there some. Okay, so this particular young man, let's call him Uche, has been friends with another young, beautiful lady, this one here called Ada. Okay, Ada is just the name we are giving her. Okay, so Uche and Ada, they, they, these two, they, they've been friends and they attend the same church. They go to the same church. They see themselves. They talk. They vibe. Okay, so they are friends actually. And then one day, Ada just goes missing, vanished from the scene just like that. Okay, and because of that, Ada's family is very worried. They don't know what exactly is happening. They don't know what is happening. They don't know that, hey, what, what, what has happened to her daughter? She went out and she's not back again, back and forth like that. You know, Uche too is talking to, to his friends, finding out what is happening to Ada, what is happening to Ada, and a whole lot of other things pretending that he knows nothing about what is happening to Ada. All right. And then the parents receive a call that, okay, see, I have Ada. If you want Ada, come and do this thing for me. Be sure to do this thing. And when you do, yes, you will get Ada back. The parents say, okay, we are going to do that. What do we need to do? He says, okay. Send an amount of 4 million naira to this bet account, a betting account. That is what the person was asking. Okay. That send us 4 million naira before we release your daughter to you. The family were panicking. They were shaking to the extent that they were able to raise about 350,000 naira, which I believe if you are if you're a regular family in Nigeria, this shouldn't be easy to come by. Or this, this is not just something that you can just, you know, boom, take like that. Yes, you can raise that, but it's over time. But something that impromptu, you have to raise all of a sudden. 350,000 naira, I believe is, is very high. Okay. I believe it's very high. No, we are going to do the conversion for you later. So this is what happened. And they sent the money to the bet account. But they did one better. They informed the police that this is what is happening to us. Our daughter has been kidnapped. Our daughter has been, you know, mm. and now the person that has done the mm is saying that we should bring 4 million naira before he releases our daughter to us. Then the police says, okay, let's do this thing. Now the police contact the bet company. No, 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 let, me, let me just clap for the police. Okay, let me just clap for them. Let me clap for them. <laughs> Nigeria police, you did well on that. Yes. You know, we've been hearing things about you. But this one, I, I give you kudos. Okay, you did well. So, they contact the bet company and inform them that this is what is happening. This particular bet account is being used for extorting money for uh, somebody who is purported to be, you know, a kidnapper. All right. So, they went ahead inform the bet company the bet company decided to okay so let's help out now the bet company informed them that the person has withdrawn their money into another account a bank account all right so they did a trace and they found out that there's a bank account you know associated to the whole thing they did a trace and lo and behold they found the name trace the name and the details of the bank account and realize that the number that called the parent to tell them that we have your daughter if you don't give us this money we are not releasing your daughter that person is uche again nigeria police 
Now, this is where it gets interesting. Pay attention. Yes, this is where it gets interesting. Upon contacting Uche, now news is coming up. A lot of information is coming up. Oh, the yes, information is coming up. The information coming up is that Uche might have been the same person who kidnapped or who, you know, unalived his sister and his ex-girlfriend and buried them in the house. Interesting, isn't it? Yes. So it is believed that this same Uche who is involved in uh, at this case, okay, had actually unalived at her and buried her in his house. And it is believed that Uche is living with the parent. So how can a young boy be that bold and be that strong to kill somebody and bury her in the house without anybody seeing that no there's a freshly dig you know picked here or something like that or this soil has been turned over or are we trying to say that when when he did that he went to look for uh, uh cement and then sand and stones and things and then casted a concrete floor or something you you get it so they found out that Ada was buried there and somebody who is some are saying it's uh, is uche's cousin or something like i also come forward to say that uche is also responsible for the death of his sister and his ex-girlfriend who died of you know similar situation and they were both buried in the house so the other issue is that are the parents aware that's what others are saying that the parents are definitely much aware of what is happening to to as in what Uche is doing or what happened to Ada and the others. Is it, are they doing some sort of aquatic or money ritual thing? Nobody knows about that. But now Uche is arrested. Okay. And we are happy that he is arrested. But how wicked, see, just imagine the trauma the family have to go through. Imagine the pain the family has to go through. Imagine that, oh boy, oh boy. Charlie, people, they wicked. If what we see and hear online and on radio and TV, on social media, if that is anything to go by, then Nigerians are really in some hot tube. It's like some whole new, you know, movie industry all over there. Nigerians are, Charlie, some Nigerians, exactly. Are, they are different. But why would you want to do that to your fellow man? And if it is true that this boy went ahead to do that to his own sister and ex girlfriend, then it looks like he doesn't care. So you can't even use the scenario of you don't what you don't want to happen to your own family member. You don't have to do to somebody else. He doesn't care because he is he has allegedly done that. Okay, but in the end, it comes down to there is a pressure from society to excel. Is a pressure from friends to also make it in life. Is it pressure from family to to be to look respond? But twenty three years, oh, quite hey. twenty three years. What exactly are you looking for? What exactly are you chasing? What exactly is your problem, dude? What what the hell is your problem? Going around killing people. See, ha. <sighs> it is well. You see, some of these things when you do, eh? All you deserve. All you deserve, eh? All, all, all that you deserve eh, is this. They catch you, put you at one side and give you this. That, that's it all. That's all you deserve. Because you can't be this heartless and this cruel and this, you know, wicked as a human being, as a young boy, to do that to somebody's daughter, to somebody's angel. See how beautiful she's looking. Look at the smile. Nice smile. But this one decided to... This beautiful girl and extort money from 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 her family or from her parent the world we live in is cruel yes it is cruel on so many grounds the world is cruel but yes for me i did for you eh? i'm not gonna do you i did for you me and you we are together all right we are together uh -huh. that is why i'm always always happy that you are here 
like it. I love it. I want some more. Of course, I want some more because you are here with me. Okay. So if this is your first time or if you just, you know, scrolled by through YouTube and landed here, you are most welcome. The name is M-C-H-A-Y-M-A-K-E-R, M-C Haymaker. This is Saints Know The Ground Podcast, and I'm super excited always to always have you on board. Be sure to hit the subscription button, subscribe button, and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss all the other episodes, okay? Or you can just go back. You can also check on Spotify for Saints Know The Ground Podcast. Apple Podcast is also Saints Know The Ground Podcast. And see, enjoy yourself with all the other episodes that are already available. And Charlie... Welcome to the family, Atta. I dream one movie, I but welcome to the family. I mean, now we are like this, Tom and Jerry. On that note, peace out. <laughs>